$800 or 45,000 pesos with an i5 12th gen and 3050 GPU build. I think it's pretty good for my first PC build. Let's start with our case and power supply. For our case, we are using a Lianli O11 Dynamic. Honestly, I regretted buying this because it is so expensive for someone making a budget build. But it looks good and clean. But there's a problem though. The only power supply that can fit in this case is also from Lian Li. Well, not knowing this, I already ordered a power supply. This is from Cool Master, and I realized that I did something wrong when I tried to put them together. So it didn't fit. I was thinking, did I just waste my money on this? Fortunately, someone bought it from Facebook Market and everything's good now. And then I bought the Lian Li SP750 watts gold fully modular, which is the only power supply that can fit in this case. And it costs $106 or 5,950 pesos. Yep, the Enli is not meant for a budget build. Anyway, what's done is done and then I ordered the power supply and then let's go to the next thing, our motherboard, which is the ASRock H510M. This is an NVMe motherboard, a micro ATX SE special edition, which has an LGA 7000 socket, which can fit the 12th gen lineup of Intel CPUs. I actually messed this up too, but I'm gonna tell you later why. For now, let's proceed with our CPU. This is a refurbished Intel i5 12400F. This is the 12th gen lineup of Intel i5. I choose this refurbished one to save money because it works just as any other brand new CPUs. But since this is the F variant, we need to have a GPU on this one, which is our next item, our GPU. This is the Palette GeForce RDX 3050 Storm X 6GB. This is the most time-consuming part of my PC build because it is the most expensive one and it is one of the most important part on the PC build so I gotta think this thoroughly. I chose this one because in the market here in the Philippines 2060s, 1660s, the Radeon 6500s are just almost about the same price. But then I saw the cheapest 3050 in the market and this is from Pallet. Well with an RTX and it is in the 30s lineup I couldn't pass it out so now remember what I said earlier that I messed something up with the motherboard. Well, guess what? I ordered a DDR4 memory together with the case and the power supply, the first one. And then I wasn't thinking when ordering this motherboard what type of memory I could put it on. So another thing to sell. I have no other choice but to buy another one. So this is my RAM and it's Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 16 gigabytes. Prior to filming this video, I already added another memory and it is still the same brand but it is 32 gigabytes so in total I have a 48 gigabytes next item would be our storage since the motherboard has an NVMe slot of course we're going to put an NVMe storage in it and it is the Lexar NM710 one terabyte the last item would be our CPU water cooling system I didn't opt for the fan and heat sink on my CPU and honestly I just chose the cheapest water cooling system in the market and I hope this doesn't mess up everything. It's an AIO water liquid CPU cooler from PC Cooler. So before we get into the results, there are additional items that I haven't included in the total. One of these are the fans. They are for about 120 pesos or two dollars and I have seven of them. Six fans would be intake, one fan would be the output and then the other two fans from the water cooling system is also an output. So in total we have three fans for the output and six fans for the intake. I also bought the TP-Link Archer Wi-Fi 6 adapter. This adapter enables us to use the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth feature on our PC since this is not a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth ready motherboard. This helps because I use Bluetooth headsets and then the internet internet modem is far away from my room so I just use Wi-Fi on my internet so it's actually a necessity for me but it's optional for you if you're going to follow this build. The last part is benchmarking. I'm not really an expert in benchmarking and testing my computer but I have a few games that I will show you in the screen right now that I'm currently playing so these are the FPS on each games.
Now this build might have been cheaper, just swap the case and the power supply to a cheaper affordable one. We could also swap the liquid cooling system into a fan and a sink. That's probably a hundred dollars cheaper or more. Either way, if you are building your own PC, please make sure to research and research and research. As someone who really knows what they're doing, it'll save you money. I promise. Well still, if you're interested on my PC build, I have a Notion page with all of the information about my PC and how it costs and also the links. It's free, the link is in the description, so just check it out. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.